welcome to another new creature review this is omar how you doing today we are checking out marvel legends living laser um this is kind of a bittersweet review for me because i had to return a figure that i've been looking forward to for a very long time uh one punch man saitama uh, i had to return him because he was basically unplayable but man that it was such a sad thing for me i i wanted a saitama in my collection uh, but now I don't want the McFarlane Toys one. Um, not because that's like a common thing, because this guy was awesome, <laughs> you know, but man, you know, it, it, it was just, it kind of burned too much. So I'm, I'm being a little cautious on that one. If I'm going to get another Saitama, it'll be a, from a different brand, probably an import or something, but uh, that being said, I went over to GameStop and I said, this is broken. I can't play with this anymore. We can't pose it. They said, yeah, okay, go ahead. Let's swap it out. And uh, this is what I got. Um, I've been looking forward to Living Laser because he looks amazing. I have no idea who this guy is, but on design alone, I am very impressed. He looks really cool. And... I'm collecting the Endgame Thanos uh, Build-A-Figure, so uh, I have two left after this. I have like an arm and a leg, uh, the right arm and the right leg, and I think that's Nighthawk and Citizen V. So I, I don't know who they are either, but they look good too, you know? <laughs> um, it's it's very rare that I like an entire wave completely, but th it's, it's a really good wave so far. So this is Living Laser. Let's check out the box. We've got this, uh, it's a typical um, Marvel Legends box. There's some artwork on this side. There's the same artwork on this side, mirror flipped. There's your uh, UPC and everything. On the back, we have our blurb and the same artwork, pretty sure, yep. Living Laser, driven mad by jealousy, the brilliant research scientist Arthur Parks becomes the villainous Living Laser. Yeah, awesome. And there are all the pieces. Yeah, I need Nighthawk and Citizen V, and then I am completely done. I'm not getting this Captain America because I just don't want it. <laughs> Um, let's get into this box. Man. There we go. There's the background if you care to see it. Very generic, like a flash of light. All right, let's check this out first. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to put this guy together on camera and I will probably uh, compare him to all the other Thanoses I have in my collection. I have a good amount of Thanos figures, and I, I I really like collecting Thanos figures. So this looks really nice. It's uh, very well painted. And uh, the articulation is kind of limited. We don't have, um, we don't have a, a waist swivel. We have a, an ab crunch. Um, I, I don't remember. Yeah, I think, I think the other uh, MCU Thanos figures have a waist swivel, and that's kind of a bummer uh, that this guy doesn't. But it still looks good, and I think it's going to look great on my shelf with the others. All right, it also comes with electrical pieces, one for each hand, because you can't be a level living laser without uh, electricity. What? <laughs> okay we'll call those energy beams right wow let's take a look at this guy sheesh he is so nice looking is that is that a mask it's a 
ball jointed in does not matter it looks awesome i really like it it reminds me of a pac-man ghost right here the paint is nice on his shoulders uh it's a little light but it's good it's good we've got the electrical uh bolts thunderbolts coming down his arms he has these little fins on each of his forearms looks really good we got kind of a uh, what like a spray on kind of thing like an airbrushed white on his chest to give that uh, bright energy look the 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 paint or er, the um, the plastic looks really nice I really like how this plastic looks it's very um, very vibrant very live then he has no boots <laughs> he has a boot cut though all right let's check out his articulation his head must be on a ball joint but because of all of this uh collar it's not going anywhere it's you got a little bit and that's fine i like it <laughs> he, he doesn't need to he could just be like huh <laughs> you know that's fine he has a butterfly joint on each arm Ooh, yeah butterfly uh yeah butterfly Urgh. yeah that's looks kind of weird anyway yep uh he has a hinge and a swivel he has a uh, bicep cut he has double jointed Urgh. i'm just not having any luck with this there we go okay double jointed elbows that close up that much he has a wrist hinge and swivel and hinge there we go hinge hinge all right he has ab crunch nice and clicky it's squeaky too and he has oh that's a nice soft ratchet we got going on in there in his waist goes all the way around kicks out that far that far forward that far back he has a thigh swivel double jointed knee closes that much he has a boot cut like I said and he has ankle tilt and a hinge goes down that far twinkle toes and it goes up that far slamming the brakes all right Let's see what he looks like with these on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never know how to put these on. It looks like there are hooks in here, but I could be wrong. Is that... Is that done like that on purpose? Let's see. I'll hook this one. Right. Here. Yeah, this isn't doing it for me. I, I don't like how these look. Um, I rarely ever do. Unless they're like really... Uh, like more rigid than this these are really flimsy but they, they they're just not doing it for me it doesn't look like electricity it doesn't look like energy but i mean whatever you know <laughs> we can use it somewhere else we can use it on another figure but yeah he looks really good i like this figure i like this figure let's do some size comparisons You ready, handsome? Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. Here he is with a couple of his mold mates, I believe. Human Torch and Ant-Man. 
From Studio Series Transformers, we have Scrap Metal and Rampage. Here he is with Star Wars Black Series Vice Admiral Holdo and Overwatch Ultimate's Tracer. Here he is with NECA Kenner Tribute Snake Alien and the Ultimate Alien. I think he's Ultimate Alien or Ultimate Xenomorph. They're both from NECA. <laughs> and here he is with a couple of Equestria Girls, Sunset Shimmer and Twilight Sparkle. So yeah, I, you know, I said this at the beginning that this was a bittersweet review. No, 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 no. This is a very sweet review. <laughs> this is a really nice figure. I'm very impressed by it. I, I know it's just like another, just like any other um, Marvel Legends base figure with the, um, you know, the slender body with the butterfly joints. But man, I, I don't know. There's something about this that that uh, translucent purple with the uh, with the crazy looking helmet that doesn't move at all. It's it's so it's insane. It looks really cool. And uh yeah, leave it to Hasbro to, you know, crank out a toy that's already in production and, you know, slap a different paint job on it and call it a new toy and it actually looks like a very unique toy. I really really like this. I like how it turned out. So that's that's my uh, that's my final thought on this. It it's a really nice toy, and uh, it's a really nice figure to have in your collection. Um, man, I mean, I guess I didn't want to have uh, to uh, trade in my uh, Saitama for for this guy, but I, in the end, I'm glad that I did. You know, he's he's a really nice figure. I I'm very impressed. I really really like it. So that is it for my review tell me what you think about this guy in the comments below yeah comments below <laughs> uh, if you like this review give me a like if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe hit the notification bell uh, to see when I put new stuff up on the channel I'm gonna be taking pictures of this guy right now and that'll be all on my Instagram and Facebook so be on the lookout for that and uh, thanks for watching